Your comments as well. Tonight it's taken Frankie Randall almost 11 years to get to this level. A shot at his first world title. He's a tough, grizzled old pro. Almost a throwback, as Bobby alluded to. Some do feel a style reminiscent of the great Joe Lewis. But he's never met Julio Cesar Chavez, who is in a league of his own. And this is the champion, Julio Cesar Chavez. Getting into his dressing room, his first fight of 1994. He's had 90 since his fabled career began in February of 1980. In an age where fighters rarely have three bouts a year, Chavez has been fighting at least one opponent every two months for over 13 years, and there is no let-up in sight. And the challenger, Frankie Randall, in his dressing room. What's going through his mind as he closes in on his first world championship fight? against one of the most feared and revered fighters of all time. Perhaps Chavez's draw with Pernell Whitaker gives Randall the confidence he'll need for later tonight, but it could be false confidence. So here in the land of headliners and marquee names, our two main event combatants are ready to go. A big night of boxing ahead, so let us throw it back to Jim Hill to get things rolling. Jim? All right, Steve, thank you. Team knockout in world championship fights, and that is a world record in itself as he recently surpassed Joe Lewis, who was 26-1. and one. Let's go back up to Jim Hill. All right, Steve, here we go. It is time now for the main event of the evening, the WBC super lightweight title, Julio Cesar Chavez versus Frankie Randall. And tonight, boxing fans get a chance to see one of the greatest fighters in the sport put himself just 10 victories away from the magical 100 wins in a professional boxing career. Now, many fighters have won 90 fights in their careers, but few have without suffering one single loss. This is the challenge awaiting Frankie Randall to not only blemish Chavez's record, but to prove to himself that the dream of winning a title can come true. Until recently, no fighter has been more successful than the unbeaten Julio Cesar Chavez, who had won 87 fights and five world titles in three weight divisions. But on September 10th, for the first time ever in his 13-year professional career, Chavez did not hear his name announced the winner. Moving up to his fourth weight class, he challenged fellow five-time champion, Pernell Whitaker. At the final bell, most believed Whitaker had won convincingly and were shocked at the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, the decision is a majority decision a draw. Okay, no, you say. I felt that although I didn't win outright, I had pressured Whitaker to such an extreme that the decision should have been in my favor. Not many agreed with Chavez or the judges. And although he would go on to win two more bouts, they wonder if he is no longer invincible. The reason I think I can beat Chavez is uh, I'm hungry. I want a championship fight. I want to be able to hold a championship, defend the thing, and make some money, and make my career successful. Frankie Randall is certainly a hungry fighter. While Chavez was enjoying the success of his championships, fighting in sold-out stadiums to millions of adoring fans, Frankie Randall, from the small town of Morristown, Tennessee, was learning his craft in obscurity, slowly but surely earning a reputation in boxing circles. For the people who hadn't seen me, I'm a boxing puncher. I have uh, good speed, good power in both hands. All around, well-equipped, professional fighter. Over the last 10 years, Randall has compiled 48 victories in 51 fights, 39 of them by knockout. But despite this, or because of it, no champion has given him a title fight. It's taken me a long period of time, more than any other fighters, but uh, I've struggled with that. Thought about giving up the game several times, but it's in my blood. I've been doing this since I was nine years old. I enjoy it. I'm, I think I'm good at it, and uh, I love boxing. Frankie Randall is the kind of fighter that really works into my style because he'll come after me. After all those wins, it was very shocking to hear a draw. But I recognize that Randall's style is very different from Whitaker's. This time, I'll be much hungrier. I have the skills to be any of the champions out there. Chavez happened to be the one I'm fighting that night. And uh, so 
it's just, it's gonna be my chance to prove that I am one of the world's greatest fighters also. The magic man himself, Irvin! Does Randall magic score the upset he's always no, dreamed about, or does the warrior from Culiacan, Mexico, Julio Cesar Chavez, continue his march towards his destiny of 100 victories? We will soon find out as we go back down to ringside. Here's Steve Albert. Thanks again, Jim. It is four down, one to go in our Super Grand Slam of Boxing. Time for the main event as Julio Cesar Chavez meets Frankie Randall for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship. And for whatever reasons, will Frankie Randall pose a bigger threat to Julio Cesar Chavez than previous opponents? Ferdy, how do you think? I don't realistically know. He's seen every kind of opponent, everything from tall guy to little guy to fierce guy to left-handed guy. No. No, no, he will present a good challenge by, by a competent boxer who has a big punch, just like others of his ilk have done. And uh, But let's face it, they're facing Julio Cesar Chavez, pound for pound, the greatest fighter fighting today, and no other comes close. And then there's this theory. Frankie Randall has nothing to lose. Does that make him dangerous? Is that a valid point, Bobby? I think any fighter that walks through those ropes should be treated as dangerous. But a fighter who has nothing to lose and everything to gain sometimes can be a little more dangerous because he has nothing to protect. Not a title or an undefeated record. So he may inadvertently take some chances and maybe purposely take some chances that he normally wouldn't take. This adds to it. But I think the biggest danger of, for Frankie Randall with Chavez is that he saw something that has inspired him incredibly with the Chavez-Whitaker fight. I think the only danger there is maybe Chavez has slowed down just a little bit and Frankie saw something that may expose him. I don't know. All right. It'll be impossible. It's a heavy task. We'll see what happens here at the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas coming up. The main event is Julio Cesar Chavez takes on Frankie Randall for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of the evening, the WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. And now, we present the entrance of the challenger, Frankie the Surgeon Randall. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present the entrance of the defending champion, aquí está el gran campeón mexicano, Julio Cesar Chavez. Voz de la guitarra mía, al despertar la mañana, Quiere cantar su alegría a mi tierra mexicana. Yo le canto a sus volcanes, a sus praderas y flores, que son como talismanes del amor de mis amores. México lindo y querido, si muero lejos de ti, que digan que estoy dormido y que me traigan aquí, que digan que estoy dormido. 
ti que me traiga aquí México lindo y querido si muero de Thank you, Roy Guetta from Mexico. Julio Cesar Chavez in the ring as we take a look at the figures, the tail of the tape. Chavez at age 31 is one year younger than Randall. The one and a half inch height advantage for Randall. Chavez 140 and Randall 140. And a slight reach advantage for Randall. And the WBC rules for this championship fight. 10 point must system, three scoring judges, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight, and a fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round. Here we go. We're closing in on Julio Cesar Chavez versus Frankie Randall for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship, our main event. Let's go back to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask you to rise for the singing of the national anthems. First, on behalf of the defending champion, we shall begin with the national anthem of Mexico. To lead us, please welcome the special invited guest of the champion from Culiacan, Sinaloa, Dagoberto Borrego de Chavez. Mexicanos al grito de guerra el acero apresta y el bridor y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón Niño patria, tú tienes de oliva de la paz, el arcángel divino, en el cielo tu eterno destino, por el dedo de Dios se escribió, vas a usar el extraño enemigo, profanar con su planta tu suelo, pienso patria herida del cielo un soldado en cada hijo te dio un soldado en cada hijo te dio mexicanos al grito de guerra el acero apresta y el brido y retiembla en su centro la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón y retiembla en su centro la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. Gracias. Thank you very much, Dagoberto Borrego de Chavez. Please remain standing, ladies and gentlemen, for the national anthem of the United States. Now to lead us, please welcome the talented Dunkirk recording artist. Have it a hand for the CGC Coasters. Oh, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last leaving whose broad stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight for the rampart we watch was so gallantly speed and the rock is red glare the bomb bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet Recording artist, CGC Coasters.
Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the grand opening and the premiere of the boxing program here at the MGM Grand Garden in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is time for the main event of the evening in this, the Super Grand Slam of Boxing, brought to you by Don King Productions and King Vision, in association with SET Pay Per View and La Cerveza Masfina Corona Beer, along with the world's largest hotel, casino, and theme park, the MGM Grand. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council. The president is Jose Suleiman, supervising Juan Jose Sanchez, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the chairman, Dr. Elias Ghanem, commissioners, Nat Karasani, Bruce Lane, Luther Mack, and Dr. James Ney. The executive director is Mark Ratner. Positions at ringside, Dr. Flip Pomatsky, Dr. Al Cabana, Dr. James Game, Timekeepers at the bell, also keeping count of the knockdowns, Jane Broadfoot and Al Bicek. Introducing to you the judges at ringside. Abraham Chavarria, Chuck Jumpa, and Angel Luis Guzman. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, it's showtime. The WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Introducing the referee in charge of this bout, Richard Steele. Introducing to you first the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing teal trunks with white trim and hailing from Morristown, Tennessee. He weighed in at an even 140 pounds, and his record includes 48 wins, two losses, one draw, with 39 big wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently the number one WBC Super Lightweight contender. Please welcome tonight's challenger, known as Frankie, the Surgeon Randall. And his opponent across the ring on my right is the defending champion fighting out of the red corner, really needing no introduction the world over. Wearing blue trunks with white trim, fighting out of and representing Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in the same weight of 140 pounds. His record represents the longest undefeated streak in boxing today with 89 wins. No losses, one draw, 77 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the five-time world champion in three weight divisions. Please welcome one of boxing's great champions, the current WBC super lightweight champion of the world, Demos La Bienvenida al Gran Campeón Mexicano, introducing Julio Cesar Chavez. Once again, here's your referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Richard Steele. Okay, I spoke to both fighters in the dressing room. I'm gonna caution them again. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands, good luck. Here we go, the main event. For the WBC Super Lightweight Championship, Julio Cesar Chavez, 89-0-1 with 77 knockouts. Over his 13-plus year career, five world titles in three different weight categories. Frankie Randall, the challenger, comes out in the teal. He told us yesterday he sees Chavez despite his history of deliberate starts coming right out and jumping all over him. He says he'll try to avoid Chavez's famous body shots by countering back, adding, I've got a good body attack myself. He must also be on the lookout for Chavez's masterful left hook. Well, Chavez did come right at him, looking to dig a left hook to the body and pressuring him, starting much quicker than he has in the past. This is the way he started the Whitaker fight. Maybe he feels he needs to make a little bit of a change. Oh, holy, oh, holy. Randall told us that he learned from the Chavez-Whitaker fight that Chavez has difficulty against boxing abilities. Therefore, Randall says, I'll be constantly moving side to side, jabbing, throwing combinations, and trying to dictate the fight. He said, plus, I've got a surprise. We'll have to wait and see what that's all about. Well, he wouldn't tell us what the surprise is. 
Not that you can tell anyone, but it wouldn't be, be an ethical. It wouldn't be a surprise. Surprise is going to last past three rounds. All right. That's a surprise. The voice of Poole. <laughs> No, I mean, that's his surprise. I mean, I think he's a capable fighter, and if he uh, chooses to move around, he can make this a nice long fight. But uh, he, he looks a little cold to me. He looks like a little impressed with where he's at. He's never had a big major fight. He's never uh, operated in an in a operating suite like this. Looks like he operated an operating room, though, yeah. by his guard. He came in dressed like a surgeon, stealing some thunder from the real the fight doctor sitting here at ringside. He really right now he's fighting a very smart fight. He's not wasting a lot of energy. He's not getting too excited with the moment that's upon him. He's landing some good jabs, a couple of combinations, and Chavez has uh, not figured him out just yet, but it doesn't take long. I noticed when Chavez came into the ring, oh, nice low blow, blow. that Frankie Randall refused to look. He looked the other way. He didn't want to be intimidated. Randall has uh, barely broken a sweat. It's a right uppercut by Randall. He says, my skills are, my skills are still sharp. I can run with the 22-year-olds, and my defense is good. I think he's got going for him. He never has really absorbed any real beating in his career, which is a major plus coming into this kind of fight with Chavez. Except my father time, 33 years old. Obviously, the offense is what wins the fight, but defensively, it's going to be a real big question. Can he keep that big body assault and then that head and body combination stuff that Chavez is always throwing? Can he keep it off him? Right now, he's not doing a bad job. I think he's winning the round, but it's real early. Chavez uh, says that Randall works right into my style, right into my hip pocket, because he'll come after me. Randall's style says Julio very different from uh, Whitaker's. Final seconds of round one. Another low blow by Chavez. It's two or three in a row, and the referee has said not. Some uh, instruction by Buffalo about going in with the left and that he's taking it too easy, that he let the guy take the round away from him by being too busy and now step it up, get started, and to go in with the left. That's his main thing. Get in the inside, keep counter. I'll let you back on the rope. You doing all right? Yeah, man. Am I getting hit over the right hand? No. You're good. I think you won that round. All right, you won that round. You won that one, Frankie. Someone out there, I agree with him. He did win the round. He did more, and uh, Chavez did precious little except to some low blows and some body shots. So now comes the time to get started with uh, Chavez time. Round two. What about Frankie Randall's punch? How would you compare it with Cornell Whitaker's? Oh, I, I think... He punches hard, but the, comp uh, the competition was such you can't make the comparison. I think Purnell punches harder than him, but uh, but the competition is such that you couldn't out. compare it. If, if Purnell was fighting his competition, he'd knock them all out. I'll tell you, I think the uh, comparison of the speed and the power are real close. Purnell is a better fighter. I think there's no question about that. Frankie Randall, I think, has just a bit more power on his shots. I think Purnell relies on his speed. Look at the combinations he's hitting Chavez with. And some right. good shots here by Frankie Randall. He got more than just his attention with that one, Steve. Combination by Randall to the head, and Chavez says, come on, bring it on. Well, he, that, that was the surprise, he might have said. He's got some Hard to get out, combinations. Nolan. He said he learned a lot from the Whitaker fight, and he's certainly applying some of those principles right now. Very so impressive display here in the second round by the challenger, Frankie Randall. That was the right hand that Whitaker used, used oh, so effectively to come over and land flush all fight long. There it was again, another low blow right that time by Randall. Randall's confidence sky high right now with this second round display. You know that left, the straight left hand that, that Whitaker did throw down the pipe landed a lot, and maybe that's what Randall sees just from the other side, not being a southpaw, but it is getting home a lot. Quick left hand by Chavez, but a, a glancing blow, and back comes Keep him up, Randall. Keep him up, keep him up. And Chavez missing. Something that's going to be key, too, is eventually Randall's going to get hit. He's going to get hit good. Will his chin hold up? Does he have to give chin to stand that type of monster? Well, you got to give Randall an A-plus so far. He's been fighting his fight. 
He's first, he's out speeding and out slicking Julio Cesar Chavez. And it has been a surprise. That is the surprise of Frankie Randall at this point. You know what else Randall's doing? That's real good. Every time Chavez hits him in the side with that hook, he fires an uppercut. He fires a hook. He fires a right hand. He won't let Chavez get ahead of steam up. He won't let him get one without kick. He won't let him get one without getting him back. And another barrage to the head by Frankie Randall. But so hard to penetrate the cranium, the head of Julio Cesar Chavez. And Chavez throws from all angles and never stops. Still, still, Randall is, is out fighting him in this second round and out punching him. Punching it out. Great step Randall has only one win over a name opponent 12 months ago. He stopped Edwin Rosario in the seventh, avenging a loss to Rosario eight years earlier. As we head for the bell, round two. Oh. You're in the third round now, Frank. Getting ready to go in the third round. Start fainting this way and go back that way. All right? And step in with your left jab. Don't be going back flicking. All right? So open your round up with a lot of jabs like you did the first round. Fake that way and go this way. Don't forget about that low angle when you walk away from it. All right. All right? That's good advice. Let's see how he puts it into action. Here's that jab, and let's watch how he, he works off the jab. There's the hand, the right hand. That's what Whitaker did only from the other side, as Bobby points out. And that was there all the time. Well, what he's not doing here, he's not let, just letting Chavez work his way to punch. As soon as Chavez throws one, he lands one back. He throws one back. Chavez throws one, there's his jab back in his face. Chavez comes in, he backs up to the ropes. Here he started to hold him, but he's been counter-punching, and that's something that Whitaker also was effective with. Well, by now, Chavez must understand that he's in with a, with a fighter that doesn't respect him that much and knows he can hit him and hit him hard. So this ought to change the tempo of the fight this third round if Chavez has any way to figure out the elusive Frankie Randall, who's been having a pretty good fight this far. Round three scheduled for 12. Uh, Julio Cesar Chavez arguably the best finisher in the sport of boxing. The only problem is he's having problems getting started here against Frankie Randall. He's always been a slow starter. For Julio's sake, let's hope he didn't sell Frankie Randall short because he's having a problem right now, a serious one. And he's having the same problem he had with Whitaker. He's being out thought out slick. Even in the first two rounds of the Whitaker fight, I gave the first two rounds to Chavez, and then Whitaker started to make a move. Here, I've given the first two to Randall. So the move has to come a little sooner for Chavez now. Ironic, uh, Chavez almost surgical like with his pinpoint precision over the years, but right now, he is being beaten in our eyes by the surgeon, Frankie Randall. And Randall comes through again with a left hook. Three or four unanswered punches. That's the kind of stuff that he was doing with Whitaker. That Chavez was doing. He was taking the punches, kind of waiting. Reflexes a little bit slower than Frankie Randall. Midway through the third. I could be wrong, but I'll bet you dollars to donuts that Frankie Randall not only watched the Whitaker Chavez tape, he watched the Meldrick Taylor tape. I see him digging the same left hook that Meldrick did in the body. Chavez is not enjoying it too much. And that's a fight that Richard Steele worked. Richard Steele involved in that controversial, what many call premature stop at Chavez and Taylor. And then Tyson Ruddick won. Well, the low blows are raining on Chavez from Randall. He, uh, Chavez seems curiously disinterested in getting into this fight. He certainly is. Sleeping through the first three rounds. What's the matter with it? It's a little awkward in there. There's that left jab, very effective. Is he playing possum or is he in trouble? We talked about Chavez Whitaker. That wasn't the Chavez we knew. Even though he pressed the fight and he worked it hard, right. he didn't have the same things. Not the same speed, not the same reaction, not the same ability to absorb. Here, I think I see him again. He may be all over. Chavez almost looks confused. But he comes back combination, doesn't seem to affect Randall, who countered nicely. Well, Randall's got the, got the plan to beat him, 
unless Chavez wakes up and says, okay, now I better start taking command, he will beat him that way. But I mean, you know, it's a long way to go here. There's only three rounds. A ver ese vocal. Hay que usar más esa manita izquierda. ¿eh? Está muy vago, hay que trabajar, ¿eh? He no, just no, said no, what we no, said, no you're too lazy, you gotta work. Vamos a trabajar. He said, let's go work, you just gained three rounds. Vamos, usted es el que manda allá arriba y él le tiene que respetar. Si no hacemos nada, él no nos va a respetar. Vamos a tirarle palos a ese tipo. He says, the guy has got to respect you. If you don't throw anything, then I'm going to respect you. Come on, throw something. Venga, Julito, arriba con todo, coño. 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 Venga, at the MGM Grand, side by side. I wonder what they think about this. And what was the last right time we heard yeah, words like that? And Remember that Chavez shoulder he leans in? Lazy and right. lack of respect. Come on now. Well, why not when we need this one. He one cannot get respect from Frankie if he doesn't start putting some hard shots in. So far, he hasn't hit anything but the body real hard. Well, let's see if that woke Chavez up as we head into round four. Well, he better start waking up. Well, that's one heck of a game. Now he's frustrated, holding by Randall, cautioned by Richard Steele. Yeah, and Randall was looking for a low blow call. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch your head. Travis did hit him low, but Frankie grabbed him around the neck and kind of pushed him away. And that, that blow was helped and directed, so. He has to work there. Chavez is not working. See, that's not like Chavez. He doesn't want to give Randall the room, so he's trying to crowd him, but he's not punching in the way. Yeah, but that's not him. I mean, that's not the way he fights. When he gets in close, he punches. And he hasn't done it. Now he's starting to step up. Uh-oh, Randall looked at his corner and went saying, hey, that hurt. Right above us now. Randall against the ropes, turns around. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but as of right now, I have it a shutout against Chavez. I do too. Three so does his corner. Good shots by Chavez coming back for the first time. Just as you say that. Uh, that's, that's his corner telling him, hey, you just gave this guy a gift. Now let's start going. Three rounds. Let's start. Punching it out. Punching it out. Chavez seemingly taking this man for granted coming into this fight. Almost as if building himself a little uh, challenge. As if saying, well, ho -hum, I'm tired of just knocking out people. Let me get behind and see if I can come back. And you know uh, how dangerous that can be for a fighter. Yeah. Punch this out and get out. You know, when you've had 90 fights and, and all of them have been victories except that one uh, draw, you just tend to think it's going to happen every night, you know. Oh, right hand by Chavez got in. I talked to Ferdy about this earlier. I said to him, watch the right hand. He was so keyed up on that left hook that I thought Chavez might try that. I was talking to Ferdy about that just before the fight. That's the punch that's hurt Frankie so far. And that's the one that hit. And that's the one that hurt. Oh, there's another good hook. Chavez. Legendary left hook of Chavez. There it is again. Another one. And suddenly things beginning to turn a little here in round four. Randall demonstrating that he is no quitter. He is punching There's back. Hook again. He's resilient. He's been hit clean with a lot of blows. He is right in the thick of it. Now those punches no, economical. No. Another trademark of Chavez. Right hand missed by Julio. Countering combination to the head by Randall. Keeps going to the face. Big left missed by Chavez. Glancing blow. Stop, stop, stop. This is Chavez's fight. Randall. He will get tired doing this. This is what he wants to do. Can he is Randall not keep this pace? Yeah, he is now in the hunt. He is now in the hunt. And now he's starting to rock a Frankie Randall, but Randall comes right back, relentless. Low blow by Chavez, and he goes upstairs. Now, all right, keep your back off the ropes. Your fight is in the middle of the ring, Frank. All right, yeah, he's getting leverage because you keep your back on the ropes. Now, all right, let's see game? some early Chavez action that round. This is when he steps it up. This is how he gets in close and the hooks start raining in. And also, as Bobby pointed out, that right hand that he's been holding in reserve, he's letting it fly. Now, watch how Chavez late in the round is still working his man. See that punch right there? He's working his man. That that is the kind of punishment that took apart Meldrick Taylor over a period of time. Randall has no quitting. He'll come back. He's getting a punch. There's a borderline shot. He answers with a hook. Tries another one in the right hand. 
He's not going to quit. He's going to take this fight to Chavez. Again, a nice combination on the inside, landing the right hand. This is a fight. Tremendous battle. Both guys always coming forward as we head into round five. Frankie Randall must be said right now is only the beginning of the fight. Right, but he has really, really acquitted himself well at the beginning. Everybody thought he was going to get blown out. Well, yes. He thought he was going to outfox and outbox Chavez. Well, he did for three rounds. But now Chavez woke up and it's back to uh, championship action when Chavez is on the hunt. I really don't think uh, Julio Cesar Chavez thought he would be in this much of a fight. And he entered the ring tonight against Frankie Randall. He's got himself a big task ahead of him now. Both seem to be regrouping a bit. The jab by Chavez. Chavez doesn't cut much, just a little bit over the bridge of the nose from time to time, but haven't seen any evidence of that yet. He's gotten some good shots in his first, nose. First three rounds were blistering, and now they've slowed it a little. They both realized they have 12 rounds, and the pace was just too quick to keep for so long. It was a frantic oh, start. Here they go again, body shots by Frankie Randall. And those are getting Julio's attention. I think in the first round, when Chavez came out so quick, Randall would have been content to move in the box and take it slow, but he forced the fight, and Randall got his attention in a hurry. Now, the thing about Chavez is he digs in with his punches. I mean, he is there. He follows you, and then when he gets you within range, he digs it. And he doesn't mind taking a shot in the counterpunch. I mean, he, the man has some kind of an iron jaw. Using his experience here at the age of 32, he doesn't seem to be intimidated at all. No, and it's his last chance, remember? And this is his glory right here. I mean, we say last chance for this kind of action, but if he looks as good for a lot longer, he makes himself an opponent. He can fight some more. About 15 seconds ago, Randall switched to southpaw. Just for a brief period, a couple of combinations. Something I don't think will be real effective for him here today. Hard body shots now by Chavez, just aiming for the gut. Chavez yeah, goes to the head. But Randall comes out of it relatively unscathed. Chavez chopping down his, his opponent. That's what he does best. Chopping down the side. Accumulated the effect on the low blow by Chavez. The cumulative effect it out. usually works to Chavez's uh, advantage. He has deceptively heavy hands and they do damage when they hit your back. Now they're happy. They said, now you're doing it. Step up the warfare a little bit. You won that round. You're going good. Now let's watch how Chavez chops down a fighter. Hooks to the head. There, there's that hook to the side. Left hook to the side again. I mean, he, he just doesn't pardon you any. I mean, there's no way that you can hope to get away from him when he gets in close. Even though Randall fought back nicely still, he loses. Here you see him going to work the body again. I think he'll let one fly a little south of the border. Close, but south. Look at that look. That's the look of a lion before they open the cage. <laughs> it really is as we head into round six. Randall eager to get out there. Chavez remaining on the stool. Oh, good combination by Randall to the head. Randall throws some oh, really right. crisp, Step classic up. combinations. One, two, three, four, five, six. He throws some nice punches. He mixes them up, hooks up, cuts right hands. He really is a good fight. Chavez taking up. punishment and then dishing it back. Just standing right in there. Randall doesn't want to be on the ropes, but he wants to do is keep the fight in the center of the ring. Constantly turning Chavez. Chavez, to his credit, is a strong, strong point. Pressuring and pushing, getting him on the ropes from time to time. 
and he sticks to you like a poster stamp. He just sticks right there. And he doesn't mind taking a few shots to, to uh, pay rent for being there either. But Randall can really take a punch. And, and has been handling himself extremely well. He's punching very intelligently, as Bobby said. Not perhaps as hard as Chavez. Chavez, you get the feeling, is doing damage with his punches. His hands are heavy. Whereas the other guy is landing, doing points, but not really damaged. Right there. Chavez Over looking to go into his Rocky Marciano routine and just wear Randall down and try to go in for the kill later. A couple of good body shots there. And I sense a little starch and a little air leave Frankie Randall's body, but look at him fire back. Right to the belly by Chavez. That's the stuff of champions. That, that side attack of, of uh, that, that Whitaker took away from Chavez by moving away from him, not allowing him to hold him like a posted stamp. I mean, that's the beauty of Pernell Whitaker's uh, fight was he took the angles away from him and he, and he wouldn't let him get close. So uh, uh, Randall saw that, tried to implement that, but it's a different ball game when you don't have the talents of Pernell Whitaker. And a bomb from long range by Chavez. Now Chavez in close, giving Randall no leverage. Landing with a left uppercut is Chavez. But Randall stays right in there and fights back. He's countering beautifully. He's a nice right hand. He's blocking what he can. Reflecting some ways here, too. Three left hands. Another left and a right. He is doing what he has to do to win this fight. For Randall, it's like punching a rock when he goes to the head of Chavez. Yeah. Another three, four, five punch combination. All landing. Most of them finding the mark perfectly. Look at this toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Furious exchange. It is not letting up as we head for the bell in round six. Chavez with Randall in the corner just above us. Chavez airing it out. Randall spins him around. No. What a finish. Back to the fight plan, Frank. Don't get cocky. All right? No need to get cocky in there, all right? Come on now, tuck it off. You're winning, son. You're winning, You're doing great, son. You're doing oh. great. Now get back to the fight, Paul. You're staying with it. You're staying right. with it. Now, now this is, is where Julio Cesar Chavez flourishes. This is his garden right here. Here is what he wants. He wants toe-to-toe -to -toe because when he lands, he hurts. When the other guy lands, it's just points. And so what he's doing is going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That's macho. Here you see an overview of it uh, from up top. This is where Chavez has always been so effective with all his opponents. He has been the least amount of effective against Frankie as he is against anybody else. Randall has put some punches home in the same place where Chavez actually wants to be. Blistering action in that last round. Now, wait a minute. Richard Steele says go back to the corner. Julio might be some loose tape. It is. Yeah, it is. Just take the, just take the rubber off. Just take the rubber off. Who does the rest help the most here? I, I say it, Randall. It, I think it's too early in the game to really get, to really care, Bobby. It's, it's a six round. Yeah, but this guy's in such good. Look at that body. He's not an ounce of fat. Frankie Randall is in good shape. He's fought an intelligent fight. Here we go, round seven. The holding says Richard Steele in the direction of Frankie Randall. And while the, the, the uh, scales are tipping in, in Julio's direction at uh, point level, they're exactly even on my scorecard after six rounds, 57 to 57. I mean, they're, they're even. I have Frankie Randall still slightly ahead, but not by a lot. Uh, I thought he did most of the work in the last round, which would have pulled Chavez even. I thought he did more of the work early, and he held it even enough late to keep the round. Chavez continues the attack. Hard to get out of but Randall has other ideas. From the inside, Randall landing. Another frantic exchange. Chavez, though, getting the better of it. But back comes Randall with a swift right hand. Randall is answering. Every time Chavez throws, he's answering. Maybe they're not as hard, but sometimes they're more of them. 
Yeah, there's two and three to one. I mean, that's, that's some equation. I mean, Chavez is wearing him out, but he's answering. Boy, there is. He, he came prepared to fight this Frankie Randall, and you got to admire this kid. He really came to fight. Randall battling for a dream here at the age of 32. His first world title shot and doing a superb job against the legendary Julio Cesar Chavez. And don't think for a minute he isn't getting a king size pummeling because he is. But boy, the kid has got something in, in, in his socks. He is holding his own against these bombs, Julio Cesar Chavez. Chavez is going to remember Frankie Randall's name in the morning, too. That I can guarantee you. He, he must be starting to think in there any easy fighters up the This is no Tijuana taxi driver, as Greg Haugen would put it. And then some. Mexico is the chance for the crowd trying to urge on Chavez. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that punching machine there. Low blow by Chavez, and that time it really got to Randall. He'll take time out. And a point is deducted uh, from Chavez. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. We're going to have another one of those classic another, controversies. Another one of these nights. Uh-oh. You okay? Randall says, I'm all right. Let's continue. Let's go. Keep him up. Oh, good left hand there by Randall. He snuck it in. Another left by Randall. Look at Randall go. Back comes Chavez. Back comes Randall. Unbelievable. What a fight. He's fighting Chavez's fight, and he's keeping it almost as even as can be. Wow. What a round for Randall. He just kept it up, kept it up, and he got a bonus point for it. He's wow. Trying to pick the pace now up. that changes things. All right, let's take a look at that low blow and see if it's worth a point in this close, close, close fight. Oh, yeah. That is low. That is low. But look what happens. But look what happens afterwards, Bobby. Go. There's a kind of hurt right up underneath. Tell you what, that punch, sometimes a delayed reaction when you get hit up top, I guess down below too. Yeah, but listen to how they close at the end of the round. Bobby, is this not great action? Oh, this is terrific. It's just give and take, give and take. And, and again, Randall is countering each of Chavez's punches. And he's answering every call, and this is just tremendous action. It has been explosive. Round eight, scheduled for 12. Extremely close. And now it gets tough because they gave him an extra point and he won the round anyway. And so now we got some kind of problem for, for that, that gift of those first three rounds is going to come back, is coming back to haunt Julio Cesar Chavez. He better get started. He's trying right here. I think Randall's been weakened a little bit by some of the body blows. I see a pinch, just a pinch less steam on the punches. And I can see him just reacting to the punches getting hit a little more each time. Grim determination now in the face of the champion. Well, a corner must have unknown what we all know. He must be behind. I have him behind 67 to 65. Julio Cesar Chavez behind for the first time in I don't know how long. He is behind and at the benefit of uh, Richard Steele's gift of a point. And Randall's incessant battling back. Give Randall credit. Frankie Randall trying to pull off the highly improbable here tonight with an upset over Julio Cesar Chavez. Still a ways to go, though. Chavez stumbles. Randall tries to take advantage. Chavez with his hands down low. Chavez missed a big punch over Frankie's head and just kind of nonchalantly fell into the ropes and Randall chased him. And he still doesn't look like he's right. He looks no. like he's hurt. He's not, not hurt as much as tired. Not hurt as much as tired. As much as, uh-oh, I did all I can. I'm going to wrestle a little bit. Or he could be just trying to lure Frankie Randall in for a little no, more. Of the war. Yeah, you never know with Chavez. He could be playing possum, or his gas tank could be near empty. 
Well, that hardly ever happens to Chavez. If it does empty, it fills up in about another round. He's got great recuperative powers. Well, he came out big early, won all the early round. Now he's kind of slacked off a little bit. Good right hand, short twist right. Now combinations by Randall. Hunting it out. And Chavez is in oh, fight. What a right hand by Randall. Just when you think you got an easy night, guess what? Tough night in the desert. But Randall needs to do it inside here or the uppercuts. Uppercuts, because Chavez is digging low. Real low with his head, real low with his punches. Needs to rip the uppercuts and he can over the top again. Chance of USA, chance of Mexico. Unbelievable atmosphere here at the MGM. And Frankie just keeps pounding. He keeps pounding and all of those are point makers. He is letting it fly. He is not holding anything back. Frankie Randall is living a dream right now. Randall continues to unload. Back comes Chavez. Randall, though, undaunted. And Richard Steele finally has to break it up at the bell. your best round, Frank. He got him. He's getting tired, Frank. He's what we wanted. Now start digging them shots to his body. What round is that? Nine. Low. Nine, low. nine. Right? Right? Dig in that gut now. What's winning these, these uh, rounds is this non-stop punching. Sometimes he hits, sometimes he doesn't, but boy, that's got to impress the judges. Look how many do land. And those are all point builders. Remember, this is right now, he's losing on points, and he's losing by three points unofficially on my scorecard. So, Bobby, take a look at, at, at how Frankie yeah. handles this. Chavez came We're out strong, but he finished up. basically in a business. He did nothing. He just walks here. He's in a little cut on the bridge of the nose. He's just getting tattooed, and he's not punching. There's that cut on the nose we previewed earlier. What compelling, stirring action as we head into round nine. The crowd at a fever pitch. The oh, decibel level is so high. Yeah, because this is one of the big upsets of this decade. If this kid, unheralded against anybody any good, comes in here and handles Chavez as he's handled him so far, out punching him, out thinking him, out slicking him. Wow, what is Frankie Randall thinking about? He's got to think that his heaven is in his hands. If you look in the, in the eyes of both fighters right now, the concentration factor is all Frankie Randall. Chavez has more of a Kind of a worried, confused look than the concentrated look you see in guys in front of ring. Well, he's got he's to be thinking, hey, this is what happened to me about Whitaker. He won't stop and fight, and when he does, he's out speeding me. What were the odds of a Randall upset in this fight? Frankie Randall's first world title fight. Got but Chavez, huge. number 28. Huge. Got to be huge. Julio Cesar Chavez was a 15 to 1 favorite on the time boards in the hotel here. The MGM Grand just as the fight went off. 15 to 1. Minus 1,500 to win on Chavez. Loose tape, Come on, Frankie run. Randall. Let's go. And Chavez can certainly use the blow. All right? Go to his box. Go to his box. We could be witnessing the end of an era. Chance of Mexico. Blood from the bridge of Chavez knows nothing new. Randall on his toes, on the balls of his feet. Very spry, very sharp. He's landing that jab regularly, and the right hand is getting home. I'm surprised that Chavez hasn't been able to stop some of those right hands from landing so clean. Well, he didn't stop with Whitaker, and he's not stopping him with this guy. And the one thing that surprised me most is not the energy that, that Randall is, is showing Boxing because he's buoyed by, by this come upset on, on. possibility, Texas but the Texas lack Texas of bo uh, boxing spirit, the lack of strength of, of Chavez, he hadn't got that long ago. This is no 15-round fight. This is a 12-round fight, and he's in a deep hole. He better get worried. He better get doing more than this. Three rounds left after this. Chavez going to the body of Randall. Again, Randall undaunted by it. Slipped right out of there. No trouble. Build up a few points, but again, Randall, when he gets on the outside, throws the jab. 
Those easy combinations, boom, boom, boom. Points come right back. Bobby, do you see the strength of uh, Chavez weakening? He's not landing the hard he bodies. I mean, they're not, they don't have that speed. He just, right got, by Randall. he just got caught with two terrific right hands. He doesn't have the strength he used to have. Not only in this fight, but in previous fights. That body, put through all of those fights, in that short time, well, 13 years from, not short time, but 90 fights, it may be taking its toll all in this past year. Time to get out of it. Ahí, tranquilo, respirando, respirando. Darle agua, quita, quita. Déjame trabajar, Julio. Tú respirando y déjame trabajar a mí. Respirando. Sube. Good Randall action here. Remember, this is one part of the fight, but that, look at that right hand that landed just then. There's another one that one missed. But you, you, you see how how uh, uh, fast Randall is now at this time and how slow. Julio is in, in exchange. Bobby. As I mentioned before, watch. He throws a punch, boom, he answers. Randall is answering the call every time. There's an again, again. He's answering the call and finishing the combination. And it's what's making him win this fight so far. It's Chavez is approaching it never, get, never, get, never get, leave, get, Steve. Get, well, we're in the land of Oz. We are also into the championship rounds. Does Julio Cesar Chavez have the recuperative power to come back against Frankie Randall? Well, he needs all these three rounds. He needs all of them. Don't hold him great. Step back. Wait on him. Wait on him. Wait on him. He cut Frankie. Now Frankie Randall becoming a little more elusive. Bobbing and weaving, trying to keep his distance. He shouldn't do that. What got him here was that he's out slicking out, speeding, and wearing out Chavez. If he starts getting uh, cute, Chavez will come forward and eat him up. He's used to eating fight people up to run from him. Another big low blow by Chavez. The referee missed it, but Frankie Randall fell. Frankie didn't miss it, huh? No, he didn't miss that one. Frankie Randall has gone past 10 rounds once. Punch it, get out of there. Punch it, get out of there. He's been 10 Punch rounds Punch six Punch times Punch and 12 rounds Punch only Punch once. Uh, in the face of that highly questionable Whitaker decision, this is going to be an interesting decision if it goes on. On our unofficial scorecards, no holding, no holding. Chavez right. clearly needs a knockout here, but don't forget the Meldrick Taylor. Scenario, same referee. What an unbelievable tie-in. Oh, and I hope it doesn't come to that because I, I don't know if we could stand the riot in here. Oh. Now Randall going back to the attack a little more. But Randall not attacking as much as he had before. Uh, letting Chavez do some of the assault. Now he's on the attack. I don't know what Chavez is thinking about. He better win this round big. Chavez is a combination of frustrated and tired. And I just, that's not Julio Cesar Chavez, not the one that we know. You never know what's going through Chavez's mind. After all, he thought he beat Pernell Whitaker. You know, in the uh, interviews, and he said, I didn't think I beat him outright. That's a funny thing for him to say. And he thought he carried the fight so much so he should have got the decision. He didn't think he beat him outright, says to me, he knows he got nipped that day. Well, that's the first admission. In the meantime, things continue to heat up here with Chavez carrying the edge of the action right now. It would be a shame to, for Frankie Randall, as great as he fought, to get cautious now. He continues to hang in there, though. He's hanging in, but he's losing around because all of the fighting is being done by Chavez. Tell you what, if, if Chavez wins these next three rounds, I bet they don't take the fight away from him. And these next two rounds, well, I'm sorry. I agree with you. Oh, that's nice it. right hand. And that's, that's it. A, that's right one. Ten. That's one in the bag. We are here at the MGM Grand Garden, the first now, ever baby. boxing event going down at this stretch, beautiful man. new arena. 15,200 capacity. You want to be champ, right? Outstanding yeah, crowd on hand you witnessing be champ? what could be oh, a do you monumental be champ? upset. The belt's right there to be taken, I'm man. I'm going to win it, man. We got six minutes, baby. I'm going to win it. 
Come on now. That round right. was a tie. That round was a tie, Frankie. That's all right. I'm still waiting to fight. You're still, you're still waiting. Right. Hey, the table is coming loose on this club. Okay. Tape it up. Okay. Estos dos rounds le van a demostrar quién es, la diferencia de quién es él y quién es usted. Estos dos rounds nos dan la medida y que hay que ganarlos los dos. He, he's seeing it just Así like we are. He's got to win these two rounds. Cojones, tirando los golpes, tirando combinaciones, bajándose y boxeando. Vamos a hacerlo, Julio. You've got to win these two rounds or you lose the fight. In Frankie's corner, they're saying we got this fight won. Just keep doing what you're doing. They knew they blew that round. They called it even a little bit to, to uh, help the... the uh, when you call it even, you lost it. I agree with you, Bertie. I think and that they did that just to help the fighters' confidence. Sure, I mean, I, he knows he took the round off. Here we go, round 11. And Chavez summon oh, up the on. energy Quick, and come, come from behind. He's got to win these last two rounds or knock out Randall, it would seem. On my scorecard, I have Frankie Randall two points ahead with the point that was taken. And there's another low blow, but uh, right now this fight can wind up being a draw very easily on my scorecard. Just going to say, I, I, I've got it by one uh, one point uh, for Randall, 95-94, and I certainly am not sure, real secure about that. <laughs> you can argue back and forth because Frankie has put on a great show. Depends on how the judges are looking at it, how much consideration they're giving Chavez because he's going, he's a champion going for 100. Well, win, lose, or draw, Frankie Randall's stock goes up. No question about that. Frankie's showing, Frankie showing some signs of the wear and tear now. At the pace, of the punches, of the fatigue, and all the energy he's put out. Oh, he's trying. He's going to try to take it around. Oh. He hit him low, but I'll tell you what. There's a world championship being taken away as we sit here. You keep uh, him up. Another you one. Keep him up. You got to keep him up. Julio Cesar oh, Chavez very, very upset at Richard Steele. You ready? Every, it seems like Richard you Steele is intimately continue? associated with Chavez's career. I mean, uh, he gave him the, that, that the Meldrick Taylor. Now he's going to take this away by taking two points. And this close a fight? No, sir. Is he trying to reverse history? Yeah, I don't know. He's trying to pay a debt, I guess. No, no. That comes Chavez with a reckless abandon. You know, some of the rounds that were fairly close, Frankie Randall may feel now he has got a nice, comfortable lead and not do enough to win any one of these last two rounds. It could cost him a draw very well. Well, this, this, for example, he was losing it, and all he needed to do was win one more round, and he's either got a draw or he wins the fight, Chavez. Now, with a point taken away, Chavez is in a deep hole up to his nose and stuff. Now he may have to go in for the KO. And Frankie may well just give away that last round thinking that he's ahead. Well, Chavez has certainly carried the fight this last round. I had him winning the round. The point makes it an even round. Frankie's doing what he has to keep him off, but not enough to win the round. Oh, down goes Chavez for the first time in his career. Unbelievable. Flush on the and now it's goodbye title, Bobby. He is in trouble. Look at his legs. This is okay. unbelievable. 18 seconds to go in the 11th. Can he make it through this round? He's backing up against Randall, the first man to put Julio Cesar Chavez on the canvas. Five seconds. This is a shocking round. This is one of the most surprising rounds. It, 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 oh, look at this. Right on the button, right hand, and that's something no one expected to see tonight, Bobby. Chavez got a little bit lazy here, Ferdy. He's walking to him, hands up, puts him down, opens his hands up, right down the middle. And that's what Frankie Randall was talking about. Surprise, surprise. He said it to us, and he's got it. But what we did know is the man can punch. 
I saw all of his fights in Tampa, Florida. He fought six or seven ready, fights ready. there. The man can punch. There was never more urgency in the eyes of Julio Cesar Chavez. Twelfth and final round. His championship on the line. Frankie Randall, his first world title shot, looking for this monumental upset. This makes Simon Brown's upset of Terry Norris second potatoes. There will be protests and everybody going crazy when this fight's over. If Chavez loses, the referee is going to come under fire again. I think Richard Steele, the first time was a little quick. The second time, there were four or five low blows that he let go by and warned and warned and let go by. And then all of a sudden again, he just reacted with the point. But Bobby, that knockdown saved Steele from any controversy. Because with a knockdown, forget about it. He couldn't win anyway. I think without the points being taken away now, that the fight is still at least a two-point fight for Randall going into this round, and it's his fight. Let me tell you, if this is a draw, or if he loses this fight, I want to go attack the judges. Now comes the argument, though, if he started getting careless because he was desperate with the points, did that contribute to his sloppiness? Hey, this is the last round, and nothing has happened. This is the last round, and Chavez is not chasing him and killing him, so we can safely think that Chavez has lost an awful lot of steam with that knockdown. He is not coming forth like the champion he has been Don't to worry. win. Fellas, we might be watching history. Halfway through the 12th round. Do I see a Pernell Whitaker, Frankie Randall fight on the horizon? I don't know, but Pernell Whitaker must be sitting home saying, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I get that luck? Well, as we talked about earlier, I said Randall might not be as quick, but he had a little more power, and he demonstrated it here tonight. It is truly amazing that this is not a blazing go-forth round by Chavez, because he must know that he has lost this fight, and he is not coming forth to get Frankie. And Frankie has no reason to fight this round except to let it pass. Frankie Randall continues to work on that dream. He could be 50 seconds away from it. Randall fighting a brilliant fight tonight against the legendary Julio Cesar Chavez, who could be on the threshold of his first ever defeat. Chavez knocked down in the 11th round for the first time in his career. Randall remains elusive. He has no reason to fight. He has no reason to fight. Ten seconds to a dream. Could we stand a draw? Frankie Randall. Chavez in jeopardy of suffering his first defeat after going 89-0-1. Frankie Randall in pursuit of that dream, his first world title shot at the age of 32. I did it! God gave me the will, I did it! Nobody better believe me, I've been through hell, came back. All right, let's take a look at that low blow that cost him a point. Started to turn this this fight around what it did to, to Randall I don't know because after that he was the one that inflicted the, the uh, knockdown much as Troy Waters did or rather Gerald McClellan did when he got knocked down with a low blow got up and knocked out Julian Jackson must be something beneficial to low blows and I don't here, think there's anything beneficial right to low blows there it is it's right on the button it's classic one two it's Joe Lewis one two here you see him again, he's coming back. What? Randall's backing up and Chavez just comes and gets sloppy, opens his gloves and he jumps and fires one right down the pipe. One more look at the great Julio Cesar Chavez 
going down. Flush on the face. Here we go. Let's get the decision from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing here at the MGM Grand Garden, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Chuck Jumpa scores the bout 116, 111, Frankie Randall. Judge at ringside, Abraham Chavarria scores the bout 114 to 113, Julio Cesar Chavez. Judge at ringside, Angel Luis Guzman scores the bout 114 to 113 in favor of the winner and new champion, Frankie the Surgeon Julio Cesar Chavez suffering his first loss ever and the dream for Frankie the Surgeon Randall now becomes a reality a split decision for the veteran Frankie Randall in his first world title shot and he fought brilliantly against the former champion, Julio Cesar Chavez. Frankie Randall's the new champ. Let's go up to the fight doctor. You said you had a surprise. Was that it? That was a surprise. I worked hard. I dedicated myself to the sport. I always kept faith in God. God gave me the talent. I worked hard. A lot of people counted me off. I had a lot of problems through my life. But Don King and his family, they stuck beside me, gave me the opportunities. I can't thank anybody anymore. All right, I'm going to show you. I want to say hello to Carly back home. You know, uh, Orwell, Ohio, baby. Let, let me show you. Let me show you something that's going to stick with you for the rest of your life. Take a look at this, and you could see something that nobody expected to ever see tonight, or maybe ever. Uh, Y'all know that I'm a dangerous puncher. I'm a boxer puncher. My trainer, Dick King, back in the Marshtown, gave me this talent. He worked with me. He took, stuck with me when I was amateur. My man One more hand. look. One more look. Picked the, perfect, picked the right hand. I've been hitting him with him all night, but I just knew I had to take it right behind the right hand. He started coming in right straight ahead, and, and didn't fear my punches anymore, so I figured out. Get him up under the range and just start throwing punches. You know, this is right after they took the point away from low blows. Do low blows make you stronger? No, I, I just, they make me just go back out there and work a little harder and don't let him take my fortitude away. I know that was what he wanted to do, break my heart, my spirit, but I had a great team of great people who worked beside me and stuck with me. Through grace of God, I won you. I want, I, as I'll we, say hello as, to my little boy as, back in Tennessee, Marcus. I love you, buddy. As we came in, you said to your little boy here, are you proud of me? Yes, I'm proud of these little kids here. They stuck beside me in Orwell training camp. These uh, uh, Carl King's uh, nephew, and uh, this is people that, that made my career successful. Without these, uh, thank Dr. Hill for his support, and all the people back in his office, and all the people back in Marshtown that believed in me, I made it, and I've done it, I've proved it. I went through hell getting here, but hell ain't too hot, baby, I got it. Well, now, now do you think a rematch, which of course everybody's gonna call for, would be any different when you fight him again, uh, now that you know? The man's a great champion, you can't take nothing away from him. I had uh, words in my heart for this man, he, he's a well worked round of champion. I train hard, I dedicate myself to it. If the rematch come about, then so be it. I worked hard and I'll work hard again. The man deserves a rematch. If it was a rematch, then let it be. All right, let's throw it back to Steve for some final comments in the absence of Don King, who cannot tell us what's going to happen next. All right, Ferdy, a spectacular, stirring upset by veteran Frankie Randall. His dream is answered, but for Julio Cesar Chavez, Bobby, his dream of reaching 100 victories is shattered. That dream is shattered, but I'll tell you what, I don't think the controversy is over. I believe that we will find aftermath upon aftermath upon aftermath. But what a performance by Frankie Randall. I tip my hat to him. Well, Bobby, the fight doctor isn't through yet. Let's get back into the ring. Gladys, let's ask him, is he shocked by this result? Realmente, sí, yo creo que Richie still. Ya la traían conmigo, querían que perdiera de una forma. La caída fue, realmente me agarró de, de salida, la verdad, pero no se puede ganar la pelea 
en una sola caída, por favor. He think Richard Steele did well. He doesn't agree with that. He says that you can't judge a fight by one fall. That that is not the right way. But this is how it happens sometimes. Why, why did he start so slow? He gave away the first three rounds. Bueno, diles, yo estaba haciendo mi pelea. Él estaba golpeando el cuero, pero no me estaba haciendo nada. He was doing his fight, fighting his fight. The guy was hitting him in the body, oh, but he wasn't hurting him. Mi golpe era más contundente que el de él, dile. His punch was a lot stronger than Randall's. Solamente la caída porque me agarró de salida, dile. The fall is when he took, when he punched him as he was moving out and he lost Pero balance. Pero después, ¿cómo va a ganar la pelea él? ¿De dónde va a ganar la pelea? How can he win the fight? From where? Entonces, la revancha tiene que venir y usted tiene que ganar. La revancha tiene que ser obligatoria. No, 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 Estoy muy enojado con el Consejo Mundial de Boxeo, definitivamente. Este es el round donde aquí te quedan. Y este es el round donde tomaron un punto por un punto. Ok, fíjate. Ok, fíjate. Ay. ¿Ve de dónde es el golpe aquí? Dice, ¿por qué? No le pegué abajo. Mira el golpe, que lo vean otra vez. A ver, no existe el golpe. El golpe no existe. Buffalo says there is no such blow. The champion is saying it was right at the belt line. We were hitting each other like that all night long. Why a point then? Why point then? And uh, no one has the answer to that. Tiene que hacer una and, reclamación. And la revancha tiene que ser obligatoria. Nada de por favor. That low blow cost him a draw in the pay. Quiero una pelea obligatoria, pues si no, si no es el consejo más. He wants a rematch. That's all that he wants at this time. At this, at this point, a rematch is the only thing that will settle this sort of mess. And so, the man who can do it, the man who can do it, standing. This is what the best fighting the best does. This is where it should be. The decision should be in the ring. Julio Cesar Chavez will get a rematch. It will be no okay. problem with that. So what? This is what we do at uh, SET King Vision. Put the best against the best. No one knows it's unpredictable. As I've been saying all along, you never know the outcome of the fight. This is great, and it's the way Tony Cox and I are planning to put great fights on. You never know what the outcome will be, but you know the fans get guaranteed customer satisfaction. Well, it's certainly been a night of surprises and tough action. None bigger than this. Maybe the biggest upset of this decade. Decade. He's very upset with Richard Steele. He feels that Richard Steele was taking away points, which was absolutely wrong, that the public can see what happened here. He wants to sue him. All right. Understandably upset. Let's go back to Ring.